Hi, this is Justin from Ajar Productions. In this video, I want to show you one of the new Pro features that's coming in N5 version 3.3. This particular feature is SVG optimization, which will help you shrink the file size when exporting text as SVG, which keeps the appearance and lets you scale up. I'm going to demo all of that for you really quickly in this short video. Here's a digital magazine that I've shown in previous videos from Experience Life. To export with N5 and InDesign, I'm just going to go up to the File menu and choose Export HTML5 with N5. That brings up the Export dialog. There's a couple things I want to point out. In this case, it's a big magazine. I just want to export one page for this test so we can do everything quickly. So under the Export range, I've selected Custom and set it to page 73. Under Text Rendering, I'm going to choose SVG. I'm going to go into the advanced section of the dialog. You can see there is this checkbox under image quality which says optimize images after export and this reduces file size. Now this was introduced in a previous version as a pro feature and what it did was crunch down the size of the PNGs and the JPEGs that were rendered so that you would have smaller files in the output. These are smaller files than even Photoshop can create. What this didn't do was shrink any SVG that got exported. Now when you select this in the latest version, it's going to crunch down all the SVG images as well, which is going to be great because when you're rendering text as SVG, there's a lot of points, there's a lot of data, and it can result in large file sizes. So it's really great. We can now shrink them down and make it more manageable. I'll show you at the end of the video how the file sizes compare. So now during the export, you're going to see the pages process as they would normally. And when you get to the end, there's an extra step here. Now it goes through and optimizes all the SVGs. This can take a while, so I'm just going to skip ahead a little bit. At the end, really quickly, it also compresses any PNGs and JPEGs. Now I want to show you the magazine in the browser. Here's that magazine layout rendered perfectly with scalable vector graphics. How do we know they're scalable vectors? Well, let's actually zoom in. I'm going to zoom in several times to make this quite large. You can see even though I'm rendering the images as high quality here, the uh, logo for the name of the magazine actually gets a little blurry because we're zoomed in really far. But if I scroll down, you can see the text itself is super crisp. And even though it's been optimized, it still looks exactly the same. So let's take a look at what the optimization does to the file size. So here's a comparison of the file size of four different versions of exporting this single layout. On the left is no optimization whatsoever. And remember, these are high quality images. The entire folder that contains all the HTML, images, JavaScript, CSS, everything is 3.8 megabytes. Now let's compare that to rendering text as SVG, but only optimizing images in the old way. So PNGs and JPEGs are compressed. That gets us down to 3.1 megabytes. Now let's look at what the new version does, where it not only compresses the PNGs and the JPEGs, but also the SVG. That particular file is 1.8 megabytes. So it's about half the size it was before the SVG images were optimized. And finally, let's just compare that to if we were rendering the text as images and the PNGs and the JPEGs got optimized. So that's 716K. So that's half again what the optimized SVG text version was. So you can see it is still a smaller file, but it's not infinitely zoomable like that SVG. So overall, this improvement will help you load your pages faster if you want to have scalable vector graphics rendering your text exactly as they are in the layout and be able to zoom in on them and have them still be nice and crisp. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to see more videos about N5 features or customer examples, please subscribe to this YouTube channel.